Emily. I'm Rose. I'm Mary Beth. I'm Christine. And our experiment is about density and what will happen when we place an orange inside a bin full of water. Our inquiry question is what variables affect the density of an orange? We're going to compare both a peeled and unpeeled orange to see which has a greater density. We claim that by removing the rind of the orange, the orange will become denser than the water, thus causing it to sink. Okay, first we filled a bin with water. Next, we're going to place an unpeeled orange in the water and observe what happens. We see that this orange floats. Now, we're going to peel the same orange and place it back in the water to see if there's any change. By removing the peel, the orange now sinks. We already know that density is the amount of matter in a given volume. The reason the orange sinks when it is peeled is because the rind, or the peel, of the orange has tiny pockets of air. The atoms in the rind are not as closely packed together compared to the orange itself. Therefore, the lightweight rind reduces the density of the orange. Objects with a lot of matter in a certain volume have a high density, while objects with a small amount of matter in the same volume have a low density. This is similar to somebody wearing a life jacket. The life jacket is full of air, which holds the person up in the water and causes them to float, whereas if you take the life jacket off, the person will sink.